all bodies above absolute zero emit electromagnetic radiation. This radiation consists of all wavelengths. That is, it's a continuous spectrum as against the line spectrum due to isolated atoms. Atoms in bulk influencing each other like in solids, liquids or gases under high pressure are responsible for the radiation. Observe the spectrum shown at the top. All wavelengths in the visible region are present with yellow region being strongest. Temperature is uh, 5000 Kelvin. At 4000 Kelvin, you still have all wavelengths, but dominant color at this temperature is red. The dominant wavelength depends on temperature. Now you are watching graphs of energy distribution amongst various wavelengths at different temperatures. At any given temperature, all wavelengths are present, but more energy is distributed amongst wavelengths close to the peak. The energy carried by a given wavelength is very small when the wavelength is very large or very small compared to the dominant wavelength. The black curve is for a temperature of 8000 Kelvin and the peak is at 363 nanometer. Blue curve is for a temperature of 4000 Kelvin and the peak is at 725 nanometer. The product of dominant wavelength and temperature is a constant and is known as Wien's constant. This is the picture of apparent color, color you would perceive when viewing a hot object. Temperature at extreme left is uh, 1000 Kelvin and the body seems red. At around 3500 Kelvin, it is yellowish. You could recognize this as the color of the light from tungsten filament lamp at home. At 6000 Kelvin, it is bluish.